What's up you guys? Welcome to today's video. <laughs> so for today's video, I'm going to be doing a full face of jailhouse makeup. Now there is a difference between jail makeup and prison makeup and I'm gonna break that down for you guys today and also show you a completely full face of makeup that we did in the county jail. Very different than prison. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this really stupid video. <laughs> um, without further ado, let's go ahead and get started. So in prison, we were able to buy really cheap makeup. So for eyeshadow, we would be able to use these little Maybelline quads, or I'm sorry, Wet n Wild quads. We would use Great Lash from Maybelline. That was always on the commissary list. And a couple of little lipsticks from e.l.f. or like those baby lip things. It would not be anything good. They also would not sell foundation um, because they didn't want you to change your appearance that much. They also did not sell makeup brushes, so you had to use the little stick that goes in there or Q-tips or your finger. So um, let me remove my makeup and then we will get started. Okay, so my face is like really red because I was just like scrubbing off my makeup. So let's start with foundation. We got lotion. Ooh, when Reese gets home, he's not gonna be able to keep his hands off me. <laughs> Baby powder. and a little bit of coffee to get the color that we want. There's a lot of different techniques to get foundation. Some just mix up coffee and powder, like coffee crystals, like sold folders. Um, I wouldn't see a lot of people doing it this way, <laughs> but I would do this for concealer. I'm gonna look so fine though. Ooh. So you just basically keep mixing it until you get the color that you need and then you smear it on your face. So we didn't have tools. We had really horrible mirrors so we thought we looked so good. Um, we didn't, <laughs> trust me. Oh God, I hope we don't break out. I know I'm totally cheating with this beauty blender, you guys, but. Okay. And then I'm just gonna take a little bit of, a little bit more powder, just on a washcloth, because it's really all we had. And I'm just gonna <coughs> make a big mess. I'm gonna set my beautiful jailhouse foundation. I would have definitely made it a lot more dark just so you guys could see what we're working with here. It's not awesome. It's definitely not gonna give you the coverage that you want. Okay, so now we are gonna take colored pencils off brand, never the real kind. And I'm gonna take brown, and that is how we do our eyebrows, which they're pretty much already filled in. I bet I looked so gross. Actually, I'm gonna put a picture up right here of how I looked with jailhouse makeup. I skipped eyebrow day, obviously. <laughs> okay. So now for eyeshadow, we're gonna go through this magazine. Let's do something really crazy. 
Let's do blue. Oh, look a tampon. Oh, look a tampon ad. Hmm, how appropriate. So basically we could look at pictures of tampons, but couldn't actually order any in the South. Good times. And now I'm gonna take some deodorant and I'm gonna put, I'm just gonna whip off that top layer because my armpits are, yeah, okay, anyway. I'm gonna take some deodorant right there and then take our, actually, I don't wanna do blue. I wanna do like purple maybe or red. I wanna do something that stands out. Ooh, okay, we're here. A Raisin Bran ad, boom. Okay, we're gonna use the Raisin Bran ad and we're gonna go like this with the purple and see it takes off the color. Ah, see? It takes the color right off with the deodorant and then we're gonna put it on our eyes. We're gonna need a lot more than that. Okay. Let me try to do it with my finger, actually. No better way than to use your finger. We want harsh lines. <laughs> Ooh, we want harsh, harsh lines. So see how the, the Raisin Bread ad, like dark purple to light purple, we're not gonna have the same color eyes. <sighs> so sexy. Reese is gonna be so excited. Can you believe that I would wear this to court? A judge saw me like this. Maybe that's why I always got sent to prison. Okay, so now I'm gonna take black liner because this is always how I used to do it in jail. I would use black liner, and by liner I mean colored pencil. and I would put it right in there. And then I would take it and put it on the top too. Let me zoom you guys in a little bit more. You really have to work if you want that black color. Oh no, I messed up my eyeshadow. Messed up the eyeshadow. It doesn't even matter. I'm not gonna lie, my eyes are really sore because I've been like digging in with this colored pencil and I even heated it up a little bit with a lighter, which I usually had a lighter. That's contraband, you shouldn't have that. Um, now we're gonna do lipstick, which is chapstick, with magazine ink over it. So we're gonna go through and see the kind of lipstick that we want, probably some pink. And we're gonna do the same thing. I've never looked so beautiful. Let's try to find a, a deeper red so you guys can really get the full effect here the full effect of jailhouse makeup. Now, again, this is county jail, this is not prison. Prison's a whole different routine because you do get some makeup products. I can also do a skincare prison routine for you guys if you wanna see that. Let me know. I still apply lipstick with my finger. God, 
You guys, I would walk to the hallway and talk to people looking like this. I would go to court looking like this, GED class looking like this. Oh God. And that's how you get that red color for your lips. Okay, so where's this? Let me try to find like a glitter or something kind of bright because if you could find glitter or if someone had a card that had glitter on it, that was gold because you were gonna be able to have glitter on your makeup. So let's see if we can find something. I just grabbed the first one off the shelf, so I don't think we're gonna be able to find anything. Like glitter. Mm, it's not really, sh well, that finger's like completely red. Hold on. Let's try to get some, let's try to get some highlight. There's some hylogriff, hylogriffic? Nope, that's not it. There's some shimmery eyeshadow right here, and there's also these like different multicolored things. So let's try to, Take some of the shimmer from the ad. Oh no, see, it just came out red. Yeah, that would be bad. Or like brown. Okay, so let's try. I'm gonna get some freaking highlight. I'm gonna get some highlight. Some blush. A little, a little blush. That was way too high up because I was really hoping it was gonna be highlighty. Highlighty? I don't know. Um, I usually steer clear of blush because my face is kind of red anyway, but just for the sake of today's video, okay. Okay, now let's try to find some bronzer. That would be the brown. Mm-hmm. That is never difficult to find, but it is very difficult to apply. A little bit more powder here looks like dirt like dead ass that just looks like dirt <gasps> Shit. okay so since that bronzer didn't come out good at all I'm gonna go in with a little bit more of the foundation we're gonna try to fix it can fix anything okay and to complete our glamorous look we have to have earrings Say hello to jailhouse earrings. So what we would do is we would take off these little bristles and we would put them in our ears if you have earrings. Now, because I had gauges during this time, um, I would have to take the insert of a magazine, like one of these, because it's a little bit more sturdy, and I would have to roll it up and make the gauges. Now, this was really not good for my ears because the gauges, unless it's like a perfect shape, like a circle, it's gonna kind of form and try to close to whatever shape you have. So it was important that I tried to make a perfect circle, but over time I just got really tired of doing that. So I didn't have that for this, but a lot of people use combs for earrings so that their ears don't close, which I don't know if you, I think if you just have regular earrings, your ears don't close. Mine never did, but my gauges definitely did. Um, or they'd use it as their lip ring or their tongue ring or an eyebrow ring and they would put that in there so that their piercings did not close. So you definitely need to have a comb in your face or your ears. That is a definite jail fashion statement. Do not forget your comb, very important. <laughs> So that is basically a jailhouse makeup routine. And there's a lot of different variations of things that we would use for makeup, colored pencils, deodorant, and magazines kind of being the staple of what we would do. And then the coffee and the lotion and the baby powder, all of these things together is prison makeup. And it's so crazy how innovative people are. We would do our eyebrows with thread and I'm actually pretty good. Well, I used to be pretty good at threading eyebrows and it just goes to show you how innovative people can be in jail. You know, if you give me a magazine, girl, I'm gonna give you makeup. Or we can do stencils. And a lot of people would take the magazine and the deodorant and they would they would make a little stencil of a butterfly or a flower to send a card home to their family. So, you know, we were very creative and we did so much with so little. I would even see people making rosaries from garbage bags and you guys, they were so beautiful. So I really hope you guys enjoyed this really pointless, um, beautiful, glamorous jailhouse makeup. And please just let me say this, if this is not motivation to not break the law, I don't know what is. All right, you guys, I'm gonna end today's video here. 
stay safe, stay sober. Please do not break the law because you're going to be walking around looking like this. And I will see you guys in my next one.